Hello, I am Guillermo Garcia. I am a trumpet player in the orchestra now. I want to talk to you about flexibility. For me, this is a key part of brass playing, and it basically, basically means to go from the center of one note to the center of the next note. What I mean when I say the center of the note is the place where the note resonates as at its most and it's easier to play. So we, if we're going to play from one G to one C, we don't want to go because in the way we are losing quality. We want to wait until the last minute to change. Like instead of doing we will do I'm sure you all have seen that sign in the stamp book. That means from this note to this note without any traveling in between. A very useful way to help that is to subdivide. Ta -da 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 -da, to really wait until the very last note in your head, the subdivision, so you are like staying in the center of the note, resonating and having the most harmonics, and then switch straight up to the next one. I'm gonna play both ways and see if you can hear a difference. Then we can play faster. There is a number of books with a lot of exercises on them, just to name a few. Collins, Irons, Arban, Stamp, Violin. There is many. You can make your own exercises. Uh, an exercise that I myself develop uh, to keep the intervals close and to think horizontal and not vertical is I play one C and I using even the valve, I like. So I try to make no, 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 as similar to no, yo, as I can. So there is this sense of uh, horizontal, horizontality. And then something that when I feel that my air is not moving fast enough, I like to do some fast flexibilities, just to, because when I play fast flexibilities, if the air is not going fast, they do, it just doesn't sound. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate that for you. I use this exercise as medicine and not as food. What do I mean? I use it when I feel that my ear is not moving fast enough. And then I go back to this exercise that if I am not moving my ear fast enough, it won't sound. That's why I do it. I try to do. And that helps my ear to move. I encourage you to have fun, to experiment, to try your own exercises. And what it is important is the concept and the idea and why we practice for, what are we looking for? So have fun. <laughs>